Hey everyone, welcome to the second Kickstarter uh, from Wargame Forge. I am Chris, uh, the basically the sole person behind the scenes here at Wargame Forge. I have been designing and printing uh, tabletop wargame terrain now for about two years, and I've actually been building terrain by hand uh, ever since uh, War Warhammer 40k Second Edition, so about the mid '90s. Um, I got into printing and 3D design when my friends and I got back into Battletech and this Kickstarter is going to be something for Battletech and I do want to throw out there an apology to the, the supporters from my previous campaign because in that one which was a um, modular wall system um, for sci-fi setting in the like for Warhammer 40k uh, scale I was talking about how my next campaign would be an add-on to that one, which was going to be more of an industrialized engineering kind of theme. I have not finished those designs, and, but I do have something else to put up on Kickstarter. And this is actually, these are designs I did about a year ago. Oh, actually, geez, probably about two years ago. But they became a little too unwieldy to sell as a physical product because it, it would have just been outrageously expensive for somebody to buy printed items each each piece here printed uh for their tabletop and for a big enough game a uh, game table for a game of battle tech so what i have here let me just pull one piece in it's a hex tile now this hope it stays in focus is just a standard open terrain hex tile that i created um Pretty simple, I know, basically. Six sides, flat. Uh, I did also create some others. We got a heavy forest here. Light forest. And pull some of these other ones. I do a lot of urban terrain, so I... Gotta focus on where the camera is at. Let me uh, adjust that down a little more. So, light, heavy, forest, rubble, open terrain rough terrain for one of more of a natural setting and I also have level one depth one and depth two water terrains here also what I have is this uh, thick piece which is actually uh, for creating multiple multiple levels on a battlefield and as you can see from the top here there's holes and looks like shiny metal balls in there and they're actually on both sides for this one but that's the key thing with this, this design is I've designed these things to be able to be magnetized using three millimeter ball magnets in there so when you put them together they come together they stick together they stay together I mean you're not gonna be able to shake the board they, they're not strong enough to be able to withstand a lot of force but you can put them together and make a nice little battlefield print up as many as you want and like I said with the level one here you can and then make it as tall as you want. Oh, where did I put that other one? I mean, I printed out. Uh, sorry for the noise and not being on mic. I mean, geez, you want to make a tall hill or mountain, basically, you can. Um, so right now with this Kickstarter, I am selling, or I am offering the STL files for this. Now, the initial setup, we get funded. I think I have the funding set to 500. And we have a discount at $20 per person up through, I think it's 20, the first 25 people can get the $20, $20 discount. And then everyone else is $25 about that. But then after, at $100 each stretch goal, let me move these aside, I will be adding something else. Like the first stretch goal at 600, I have the set of road tiles. Uh, pretty simple. Go together as well. You can create like for the urban setting. At the 700, we've got tiles for uh, uh, basically walls. So uh, some ideas I've had putting stuff together, and this is kind of what I came up with. And then after this, we have the $800 level which is an upgrade on the walls, which I created walls with guard towers. 
Now as you can see, they're all printed in different colors if you want to do that to make it simple for you. Uh, color code things on your, on your printer, print them, they're done, you can play. Or you can actually print these on a single color and then take your time and paint these so each tile looks really good. Um, I've actually even told you the idea, maybe uh, flocking or if you want a sand or a dirt battlefield, you can do that on there. Now I want to show quickly how to do this properly. Here's my stack of magnets. And here's one tile that has been printed, but doesn't have the ball magnets in it. So this, the easy part is the printing of the, of the, the hex tile. tile. So what you would do, and this is, this is how I've done it. This has worked out simple enough for me. Uh, I'm sure people out there can come up with good ways to work for yourself. But yeah, so you want to get the three millimeter ball magnets. And I found these pretty cheap on Amazon. And I'm sure you could probably find uh, cheaper ones um, to search around the internet. So I also have this big honking magnet here that's been I used to help out. So basically, all you have to do is pop it right in. The design stays in. The I I have I have been doing a lot of them. All of these have been magnetized, so I can build some of my own boards. I have yet to have a single single magnet fall out on me. Matter of fact, a few times where I've messed up, and, or I shouldn't say messed up, a few times when I was doing prototypes and I wanted to get a magnet out, they're a pain in the butt to get out. You actually have to tear the whole thing apart to get the magnet out. So, done right, they're going to stand nice. And they kind of pop in. I mean, as long as you keep up with this as you're printing them and then popping the magnets, it shouldn't be too bad. See, they're in. That's the key. They're they're in, you got to use the ball magnets, and you got uh, they're in there. Hold on. Hear them rattling around in there. That means they're going to be able to spin and align themselves with the magnets on the tile next to them, or on the tile above them. If you're going to do the uh, yeah, that's that's they're on there pretty good. So let's switch screens. So I can show you the actual files here. So screen over here. So these are the initial files you'll be getting. So, oh, here's one that I didn't print off. You'll also be getting, and it's really a complicated, highly detailed, completely flat, no feature. This is the basic, what I what I start with. And I'm also offering it to you, so that way if you have any pre-existing terrain that you want to throw on some hex tiles, you can do that with this guy. Now, one of the things I, I found when I was printing these is when you're using a PLA printer, filament printer, and I was using PLA, um, the initial layer when it goes down spreads out a little farther than is desired. So what I did to help keep that, because when it would do that, it would make um, aligning with the next tile over a little problematic as you would leave again, an uneven gap or something. So these are all beveled on the underside to cut down on that, so that way you're gonna make sure you're flush with the tiles next to you. So well, this was the first batch, like I said, you got the two waters, the two forest, rubble, rough, open terrain, and the level riser. What else I have here? Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm using Tinkercad. Oh, okay, that just sucks. Uh, all right, I'll show this one while that one's reloading. So these are the, the, the oh, Words are hard. These are the walls. These are the walls with the uh, towers. Let's see though. Okay, we got the ones with the roads. And I'll give you a little hint, a little show over here. Uh, of course, I'm just going. These are ones that are work in progress. I just started toying with some other ideas. I mean, the other four sets are pretty basic. If you're wondering what this is, I was kind of got inspired watching something on World War II about anti tank traps. So these are dragon teeth anti tank. You could use them for. Uh, Again, anti-wheeled anti vehicles, so again, a little problem. Could be considered rough terrain for mechs, and infantry can probably go through them without a problem. In fact, I would say infantry that are in this hex would probably get some sort of cover bonus. Uh, I have this guy over here, because the next one I'm going to be working on are some trenches. And what's nice with these tiles is, since they're thick, um, we are able then to actually 
dig into them and make little recessed areas for the trenches. So I've been working on, on some ideas for that. Uh, my original, my previous idea didn't quite work out, so I'm starting over. But yeah, that's what I am offering this time is all of these files and more. Because, as I said, we had the get funding at 500, stretch goal at 600, stretch goal at 700, stretch goal at 800. And I will continue to offer items for every $100 thereafter. So what else can I offer? I have a huge amount of buildings that I can also throw down on some of these uh, magnetic textiles and offer. And as you can see too, as I said, with these over here, I am continuously designing new ideas for this set. And if any of you have ideas or suggestions that you'd like to see as a terrain tile, I would be completely open to hearing it and seeing what I can do. So that's what I have here. Oh, and I'll throw this little warning in. Um, I do not suggest rescaling these for other games, just for the fact that these, oh, let me see if I can do this. Um, pull it in here. As you can see, the inner chamber, you're pushing through this, the pop in the mall bag up here. So if you scale this up, you're going to be changing the size in the opening here. And of course the three millimeter magnet won't work. I mean, if you wanted to go through some trial and error and find other size magnets that would fit and do this, that's all on you. I am only uh, going to offer support for this, uh, for this, the original scale that I designed these in. So we will see how that goes. So please, thank you for considering supporting this project. I hope you like what I have to offer. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, but yeah, right now this is this is my newest Kickstarter to help uh, make a magnetized hex tile terrain pieces for BattleTech. Or I mean, there if, I don't know if there's any other games out there that can. Uh, yeah, that are played on a hex hexagonal map that could benefit from this but definitely i'd be interested in supporting that as well so thank you for taking the time to listen to this video and me ramble and bluster through this so until next time oh well, next time until <laughs> my next kickstarter until i hear from you uh through messages uh hope you guys have a good day good night <laughs>